Chapter 4. The trailer jolted hard. I heard a cracking sound. It's going to break in half, I thought. I pressed both hands against the front and stared out the window. Dark trees flew past. A hard bump sent me sprawling to the floor. I heard Elliot call my name. Windy! 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 I shut my eyes and tensed every muscle and waited for the crash. Waited. Waited. Silence. I opened my eyes. It took me a few seconds to realize that we were no longer moving. I took a deep breath and climbed to my feet. Windy? I heard Elliot's weak cry from the back of the trailer. My legs were trembling as I turned around. My whole body felt weird, as if we were still bouncing. Elliot, are you okay? He had been thrown into one of the bottom bunks. Yeah, I guess, he replied. He lowered his feet to the floor and shook his head. I'm kind of dizzy. Me too, I confessed. What a ride! Better than Space Mountain, Elliot exclaimed. He climbed to his feet. Let's get out of this thing. We both started to the door at the front. It was an uphill climb. The trailer tilted up. I reached the door, excuse me. I reached the door first. I grabbed the handle. A loud knock on the door made me jump back. Hey, I cried. Three more knocks. It's mom and dad, Elliot cried. They found us. Open it up, hurry. He didn't have to tell me to hurry. My heart skipped. I was so glad to see them. I turned the handle. Pushed open the do trailer door and gasped. Chapter 5, next time, peeps. John B., aka Smoochaka here. Have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye, guys.